I mentioned one of the unions involved, the National Education Union. Neem Sweeney is its Deputy General Secretary and joins me now. Thank you for coming on the show. How likely is a teacher's strike in your view? Good morning. Morning, Nick. Well, we have committed to running an indicative ballot of our members in the autumn term. Um, they decided that that was what they wanted to do at our national conference at Easter. I um talking to our members and teachers every day and I think that the feeling uh, is is very high at the moment of uh, I've never felt uh, such anger and such despair um, from teacher members about not only pay but their working conditions and teacher supply. And what is fueling that anger then? The feel they've sense they've been ignored? Um, yes, so teacher pay is actually at its lowest level in 40 years when compared to um, average earnings. Even before the pandemic, teachers and school leaders were working more unpaid uh, overtime than any other profession. Mm -hmm. And, you know, teachers expect to work hard. Uh, but they, you know, I was talking to a teacher yesterday who said when she calculates her hourly rate, she's a head of department in an IT department in a secondary school. When she calculates her hourly rate, she could earn more as a team leader in McDonald's. Now, she doesn't want to do that, yeah. but she recognises mm. that the hard job that she does uh, isn't being rewarded. And, and so, teachers do some of the most difficult work of supporting children and young people through most difficult times. To those who would say she wouldn't get 13 weeks paid leave at McDonald's, how would you respond? So, as I said before, teachers work the most unpaid overtime than any other profession. Well, not 13 I, I don't, weeks of it. I don't know any teacher who doesn't work during their holidays I or work too I, I, I'm not suggesting other, but 13 weeks. You're telling me. So, you're telling me every single day of those thirteen weeks, every teacher is working in some way. Shape, when I, I, I tell you one thing, Nick. When I was a teacher, hmm. I could have worked every day during my holidays well, and too. still not got everything done. Oh right. You know the, the demand on teachers to uh, to, uh, to to provide. Uh, work and support, mark, mm. assess, be Ofsted ready. Uh, it's driven by our toxic system. Now, if Nadim Sahawi doesn't do something to address the fact that one in four newly qualified teachers leaves the profession in two years, or one in three leaves within five years, what we're going to have is larger class sizes because schools cannot get the teachers to, uh, to staff uh, you know, their schools. And we'll also see students being taught by non-subject specialists. Now, the government is talking about lost learning and levelling up and the importance of education. There's nothing more important than the relationship that a child can develop with a teacher. And that isn't happening at the moment because too many people are leaving the profession. Lastly, noting the incredible job that you and your colleagues did during the pandemic and you and your colleagues are closer to it than I but many children were left emotionally damaged I think I could go as far as say from the mm -hmm. pandemic particularly mm -hmm. if they were come from poorer backgrounds morally how right would it be for teachers to strike this autumn morally how right you know no teacher makes this decision lightly but we have got you know teachers have, are providing the stopgap in in social care in mental health support you know the government has got to do something it talks about uh, ma uh you know lowering the, uh, the or the fighting know, the cost the, of living yeah the, cost yeah, of living the attainment gap the attainment oh, see, gap yeah. between rich and poor is increasing okay. you know teachers see that they see it on a daily basis and and this would be the absolute last straw for them but they absolutely deserve to be paid for the job that they do thank you neve i've enjoyed our conversation neve sweeney your deputy general secretary of the national education 